Have you ever walked to the edge of the water where the water meets the land? When the sun's rising or setting and it's casting a light towards you. Now that light is coming directly at you and you can walk five feet to the right. You can walk 10 feet to the left. That ray of light is shining on you. It's shining towards you. Now you could put someone else 50 feet away from you. You could put a million people on either side of you. Everyone is going to have their own unique perspective. I think that's interesting because a lot of times when we talk about religion, we talk about God, that God's just too busy to tend to you, to tend to your needs, to observe your prayers. Well, I disagree. And I think the idea of the sun, yes, I'm using that, that term, the sun doesn't care how many of you there are. The sun just does what it does. It shines light. I think it's okay if we actually just acknowledge that we deserve the sun's light. We don't have to beg for it. All we have to do is acknowledge that it's there. We don't have to earn the sun's light. We don't have to have buildings built in honor of the sun's light. We just have to notice it and take it in. This is a real short one, but I think it's something that has been weighing on me personally as I look at the trinity of water and the trinity of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Ghost. But you don't have to earn the sun's light. You can't. As a matter of fact, you can't even turn it away. If you're wicked, or the most honest person, the most righteous person in the world, it doesn't matter. The sun's light is shining on you. And it's right at you. The sun has risen and the sun will rise again.